Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beers and Bullshit and Bats. Oh yeah, no. And Bats. We have put the bullshit and bats. aside. Yes. Oh no, no, no. There's there's, there's still, still bullshit. There's still bullshit. <laughs> All the bullshit. Beers and guano. Beer and <laughs> Beers and more. Yep. Did cheers, somebody cheers. say guano? <laughs> well, cheers, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. We are disorganized because what would it ever be if we were organized? Yeah. Come on, it, like the second. Impress you? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. You and you and the other fifteen of you can go on your way after this YouTube <laughs> exactly. video. Yeah, you just, and you and what small militia? <laughs> I clocked out ten minutes ago. I'm here for me. Okay. Yeah. So you can hang out if you want. <laughs> this is, this is me time. And your and your French fries and some popcorn. And mm -hmm. that. Listen, yep. we're taking care of our chickens and we're taking care of our mental, all right? Yeah. In the words of Marshawn Lynch, take care of your chickens, take care of y'all's mental, all right? Like and I'm just, well, yep. I'm just here so I don't get sued. Yeah, you can, actually. Marshawn Lynch sells them on a sticker. Wow. Take care of y'all chickens, take care of y'all mental, all right? I need that on my car. I mean, stack your money and take care of your mental health, all right? Just, and I just want you guys to know I'm, I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> yeah, Marshawn, what do you think about the running strategy, Boss, I'm just here so I don't get fined? Uh, shout out to Marshawn Lynch, who is a Oakland native. Um, obviously, huge. we're huge fans. Jason and I are. Kylie's probably looking at me like, who the fuck are you talking about? Oh, Marshawn. Man's a goat. He's yes. goaded. Yeah, he's uh, from the horror movie um, uh, Shaun of the Marsh. Oh, you mean Sleepless in Seattle? Yeah. <laughs> Good movie. Good movie. So, no, Marshawn Lynch is a uh, football player. He's actually very active in the uh, community in Oakland and then as well very active with the NFL Players Association. He actually just got named ambassador uh, to help teach young players about investing, starting businesses, you know, not wasting the millions of dollars that they're about to come into. So And how to make defenders afraid of you. Yes, yeah, and how to make uh, defensive players piss in their boots and feel like they're 12 all over again. This man was an animal. He was a running back, but he was just uh, – his literal nickname is Beast Mode. If that puts it into perspective. Yeah. So we're describing football here. Once again, we are on two separate vibes here because we have Spooky Intel, which is going to be the premier podcast on the Fishing Elephant brand. Because who doesn't like Spooky? Who doesn't like true crime? Who doesn't like dark, like horror, humor, whatever? And who doesn't like not looking at us all the time? Seriously. So we do have this launching here coming out in a couple of days. We're going to be dropping this, I believe, on Monday. And then you guys launch Wednesday. So this is going to be... It's time. Oh, we're going to do it after. Yes. Yes. On Tuesday. <laughs> we're figuring out the release schedule. Right? <laughs> so this episode will be out, and then Spooky Intel will be out, and then you... Yes. Correct. Okay. But we're acting like this is the iPhone drive. We're living in the future. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, I've tried to plan these out like they're iPhone drops. Like we're going to have like 30,000 people just on YouTube refreshing for our premiere. And uh, that's by far not the case. That might be the case with you guys. We have gotten a lot of interest. A lot of people who support the brand here uh, are super psyched. Uh, a lot of guys who watch this podcast, their wives are super psyched that we're finally putting out um, some sort of material for the ladies. Uh, I have had a lot of My feedback, a lot of feedback from that. Yeah, I know. She comes to our podcast and then like just. The rest of the time, she's like, oh, you boys done yet? She's like, yeah, I you're was funnier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you done yet? You done yet? She's pretty supportive. No, no, no. Steph has been a supporter since day one. Um, so shout out to Steph. We love you. Yes. 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 I was about to say, literally every chick I talk to, because um, Megan is the same way. Alyssa is interested in it coming out. Well, um, any, Pretty much any girl I know who like I mean, listens to podcasts. <laughs> yeah. And I had this mention of like, oh yeah, like I've been doing I actually wrote a podcast about some of these stuff, like where it's not released yet. She's like, oh really? Opens up her phone right in front of me and like start dating right in front of me. That's dude. Awesome. people you haven't even talked to in a while like i had this guy message me that i've been friends with for like five years that i've not seen mm -hmm. for a long time was like hey 
so what's the spooky intel? And I'm like, you're not even huge into social media, but yet you know that that's coming out. Okay, cool. And he's, sli- he's sliding in the yeah. DMs he's all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting spooky trying to get the intel, yeah, if you know what I mean. No. Spooky yeah. intel. A lot of, you know, the listeners right now are probably <laughs> listening to us get excited about spooky intel, and they're probably wondering what spooky intel is all so about. So let's, let's let them know. Spooky intel is a podcast. It's basically Sign me, about, sign me up, sign yeah, me up, sign me up. About, <laughs> we talked about, Tommy talked about like bands and cults, things like that, like different topics. Well, we did Tinder horror stories for our second episode. Well, in bands and cults, awesome. you can talk about the Beach Boys involvement <laughs> with the uh, Manson family. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah so like, like that's, that's like yeah. the big one, but obviously exactly. there's a lot more that's from there. Kind of They've got the intel. Always spooky going on, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with the dad jokes all the time. You guys should know this. We've recorded like three episodes oh, now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's, Let's go. Knock, knock. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Smell mop. Don't just say it. Smell mop who? So that is that is that is that is Alyssa's favorite fucking knock knock joke. Love she it. loves it. She loves she loves that knock knock joke. She found it on Facebook like probably a month or so ago, and yeah, she's told it to just everybody yep. at work. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah. That's pretty good. I love it. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. We just uh, so the last episode we put out, uh, we did a uh, Reddit dad joke segment, and there are just some fantastic ones yeah, on Reddit. So if Can you haven't, some? what? Oh yeah, I mean always, yeah. always, yeah. always. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah. Telling that, keep telling people about how excited you are for spooky intel and what they might be able to expect, and we'll hit you with some dad jokes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carry the show for like three minutes here, and then we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> so what? What ep- Spotlight. Which, if you had to, it's okay. Where's which that person? Where's our cute card person? Which um, episode or topic would you say you're most excited to cover? Oh my god! I don't even know. Somebody, like, the murder hornets of the sea. Well, I mean, that is mermaid. Yeah, mermaids. Mermaids. Oh. mermaids. The murder <laughs> hornets of the sea. Oh no! Sirens. <laughs> they they are yep. sailors in and kill them. They are murder oh, yeah. hornets. So of the sea. actually, nice. yeah. Have you seen sirens? Yep. On Hulu? But Hornets show. is spelled W H O R E. My mom yep. is just a Hor- like that. Hornets. Hornets. Loves that show. Yeah. So Hornets is where he was going. Hornets. Uh, yeah. But uh, no, funny enough. Song, and then he just put them in, you know? Funny enough, the first thing when I was planning because we will be doing. I'll announce this, but we're going to be doing uh, Death Monster Deathmatch and Weird News of the Week. Since the girls are out, we're going to do our probably two more most traditional segments. But in Death Monster Deathmatch, we do not have this matchup, but I was trying to come up with something for a siren. That was the first one I was thinking of today. So it's funny that we bring this up because I was thinking of, I was trying to think of something like creepy that would do a crossover. And I'm like, what would go against a siren? So I don't know. We might have to table that one for later, but I was, I was brain farting so bad. So I just... All right. So, are we are we ready for the dad jokes? Do you have Do you have a couple pulled? On, All right. Give me one second. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> my, my dad. My, that's what she said. All right. That is what she said. Right. What What do you eat for breakfast during an earthquake? A panquake. Uh, I thought you were gonna say milkshake. Oh, hey, that's <laughs> a good one. I like it. I like it. What do you What do you call a pile of cats? A mountain. Ah, <laughs> I lost my job at the zoo recently. You know why? 
Why? It said don't feed the animals. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you know what's sad? You know which what that one's going for the trailer right there. Can't give other elephants hugs. Oh well, I no, I disagree. I mean, they can wrap that trunk around the neck and wear that thing like a scarf. Yeah. Yeah. They can't do that. Yeah. That's what's sad. That's true. The trunk. I feel like the trunk is more intimate. Yeah. That's. I feel like the trunk thing is more like a docking though. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual hug, it's like I can't form can't a heart with my up. nose with my wife. It's almost like uh, uh, an elephant. Yep. Yeah. An Eskimo kiss. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 A butterfly kiss is when it takes you back in time and changes yeah. the future. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 you were like, I was like, well, an Eskimo kiss is with your nose, then a butterfly kiss is when you go back in time and change something, so you change the future. Yes. Butterfly effect. Yeah. No, I was just there's actually three of them. Oh, There's three know. butterfly effects. Well, if you had a Blockbuster membership that and went to the shitty B-rape horror section. Oh, amazing movie. It's amazing so movie. Good. It's creepy, too. I, the first time I watched it, I think I was like 13, and I still remember like mm-hmm. it so vividly. Like yep. It's so crazy. Well, it smacks you right in the feels. And people are, I, it's one of the more underrated Ashton Kutcher mm-hmm. movies, honestly. Mm-hmm. like It shows oh, a great yeah, range for him. But There's so many underrated movies that if you just like brought it back to life, like here now, they're like, oh, well, you know, there's involved in that movie. I saw someone say something on there on YouTube the other day that they have seen one for the first time, and I was like, that's one of my favorite. Mm-hmm. Like, they're they're coming movies. out with another one. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. It's just like the hair goes down, it smells like yeah. actual old, so. <laughs> they, can, they, can make some, they can make some ways around it. Orphan, the second one. <laughs> the second just, orphan. Just, just, okay, just, just like, call it, just call it Sugar Baby, and she goes around <laughs> burning down the houses of Sugar old rich men who try to buy her OnlyFans account. Oh my god! All That's right, the one, 2021 oh, remix. Okay. One more dad joke, and then we'll move on. What? Okay. How does Cinderella cut her nails? What? How does Cinderella cut her nails? With a glass slipper. Oh, no. Close. With a glass oh, clipper? Yeah. There you go. Ah. <laughs> I need... You know, I thought you were going to nail that one. That's awesome. I need to tell this one. I need okay. to tell this one. I need okay. to jump you, and then we will move on to the rest of the segments that we do have. I but feel like after this, we should get into Tumblr. Like, <laughs> You know how many like threads there are? Like, yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. If we did a, if we did, we could probably do a Reddit podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. Could. I think most of our podcasts okay, are is Reddit. influenced by Reddit, yeah. 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 But two, bo- two cowboys are lost in a desert. One cowboy sees a tree that is draped in bacon. He says, a bacon tree, we're saved. He runs up the tree and is shot with bullets. It wasn't a bacon tree. It was a ham bush. <laughs> bam! Oh, I wham, lived bam. for that. that is- wham, bam. <laughs> thank you, ham. <laughs> See, I was going wham, bam, thank you, ham. Yep. But I, I, like, I like your thought there, Tony. I like your thoughts. Alrighty, but for the episode today, Jace, why don't you go ahead and tell the people what they've won? They have won a Death Monster Death Match. Death Monster Death Match. A public favorite. It is coming back, and today we are going to be going on a little bit more of a mythological binge. Not that we weren't already, but uh, we are going to be discussing Odin versus. Did I just say we're doing a mythological? Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Odin versus Zeus. They're all fucking mythological binges. Yep. Yep. And, uh, that that one I saw you're Tristan te- over here just shaking his head. You're like, telling me like, our last battle the, isn't real? That was the dumbest thing to come out of somebody's <laughs> mouth on this podcast so far. Um, <clears throat> Odin versus Zeus, Thor versus Hercules, <laughs> and Harry Potter versus Luke Skywalker. Oh, Those shit. are going to be our three <laughs> death matches. Harry Potter versus Luke Skywalker is what I'm ready for. Pull which mic is hers. I gotta go. I gotta go. You yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just gonna pull this out real fast. Just yank the mic. Yeah. 
yeah, Harry Potter was, was considered dark magic in witchcraft. Which is crazy because actually, if you watch Harry Potter, he's actually on the light side of the magic. So Voldemort <laughs> would be probably more on the dark side. If you watch those wow. wizard movies, you might grow up to do a podcast, and you don't want that. Well, it's cool. My grandparents <laughs> wouldn't let me watch Rent because apparently then I'd grow up to be gay. Podcast. You know. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I watched Rent uh, quite a bit, and I can tell you, it didn't work. All right. It didn't work. <laughs> Mama Mia is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Mama Mia. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. Not Okay, like, okay, I, okay, we hold on here. together, and I would choreograph a dance for them to do. Okay, but what is what is so gorgeous about a musical that's like, hey, I fucked three guys in one week and find out which one's your dad? Because it's relatable. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. I know who my dad is. Shout out, Mike. What's up? I love you. Thanks for, like, knowingly being my father. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Yeah. Tell the story. Yes. <laughs> my, 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 I never knew my, my father. father. Jason's dad went out for cigarettes before he was born and never came back. Yep. I used to be nice to my dad. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. I lived with my very parents growing up. Gotcha. But me and my dad are very close. Now, mom, not so much. So. Jason likes to. I was trying to find my dad on Facebook. No luck. Uh, I don't know. He's just he's just a really cold person. I just it's really hard to connect with him. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. Here, cheers to beers. We're on beers and bullshit. That's okay. He's a really cold person. That's fucked up. He said my my bio bio dad's a really cold person. He died last year. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look, looks great. Is that is that uh, the is that the emperor's tattoo? I, the emperor's tattoo. I, I would feel bad about all this if he like didn't still deny that I was his kid on his deathbed. Literally. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the only reason yeah. I joke on your behalf is yeah. because I'm just like, yeah, fuck that yep. dude. You're yep. awesome. His loss. Yep. I mean, I, I, I like I, you so much. I hosted a podcast. I got with summoned you. to his will reading. Just oh, this this is the story here. Listen to this one I here. I got court ordered to his will reading to hear that he left everything to his roommate. <laughs> How this is sounds that? like a lifetime that, movie. Isn't that oh my god, <laughs> Jace. Okay. Here's here's uh, here's my my real dad. Is kick ass. Yeah. yeah, James is the fucking James best. James is the shit. He's my real dad. So what is a dad? <laughs> <laughs> kind of kidding now. <laughs> no, kind of kidding. Not kidding. Mine would stand for dead and deceased, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one cold motherfucker right there. <laughs> All right, moving on. Holy <laughs> shit, that went down a dark rabbit hole. Okay, death <laughs> monster. Death maybe magic. Harry Potter does have yes. some dark magic. That's yep. all. So maybe we should start oh with that God. one. Let's flip the script. We'll all start right. backwards. Harry Potter versus Luke this Skywalker. Is the easiest death match I think I have ever done. Go. Luke Skywalker would snap that one in half before he could even pull it out of his Here, <laughs> Here is my argument on this one here, though. Let's say here is your weapons. Luke Skywalker has a lightsaber, correct? What does Harry Potter have? He has the Sword of Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. The Sword of Gryffindor takes on whatever powers. It you know, cannot destroy it. And, a light, and it cannot be destroyed. So if it fights a like lightsaber... I would because if it if it hits a lightsaber, then instantly it's either taking on the <laughs> plasma like abilities. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's literally taking on the plasma light abilities of a lightsaber. Or okay. if you want to say it hits Luke Skywalker, let's like say it hits Luke Skywalker, it has it gets the, the force. Yeah, yeah, it gets the force. So. And Harry Potter's like survived some shit. All I'm saying is oh, yeah. like he has twice survived Voldemort. Now I know he technically died, but holding the Resurrection Stone, he came back to life. That's not like any sort of like witchcraft or gypsy magic there. That's I mean that's witchcraft it's obviously, like, but it's like planned ahead. Like I know it's this yeah. Is Listen, Harry Potter is a survivalist. Mm -hmm. All right. Above all else, he literally is like what happens when you start Fallout. You throw ten in luck. You throw ten in charisma, and you fucking send it. That is Harry Potter. Halo game right now? No, no Fallout. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> Kylie knows. Kylie, kind of. I don't know if I've ever played it, but I don't know if I've ever played it. 
don't know why. It just reminded me of Halo. So that's why. I was like, <laughs> Halo is the greatest. I video fucking game love Halo. Oh my god. Yes. Um, so Luke Skywalker versus Harry Potter, ladies. What do you think? Oh. That's true. Oh no. That's how I feel. No. no. I think the sword of Gryffindor is what makes it. Pull out that Are you capturing this ridiculousness like, on camera? Christmas? He agrees with me. Yeah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Here's the thing. Oh, no, Harry's got this. Yeah. Harry's got this. Really oh well, he's defeated it though. Oh. Here's the question though, because towards the end of the uh, towards the end of the books with Harry Potter, he starts to get the ability to uh, perform magic without a wand. Uh, now it's very early on, so if we're talking about after this, yes. Well, no. Yes, but without but without a wand in the Harry Potter universe, there is only two wizards who have ever been able to or three technically. So there are wizards uh, who can perform magic without a wand. Number one is our boy Albus Dumbledore. Number two is Voldemort, and actually number three is Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger, actually, if you notice in several of the movies, like when uh, people are fucking with Harry when he's going uh, like at a Quidditch match, she will actually be like countering the spells under her breath without a wand, which is incredible considering in one of the movies she's literally like 13 Snape. when well, she's I was doing about it. To say Snape, did it. Sna Snape, Snape can too. Okay, so there's yeah. a couple, but so. you have to be very highly intelligent. And okay, yeah, Tristan's saying there's six wizards who can I perform magic. Very hard, I'm, I'm just waiting for my letter. So. To pull up and then me yep. just go on and it's going super fast and then here I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the bomb on this whole death monster death match right now. Okay, <laughs> there is a difference between casting magic without a wand and uttering a curse or an anti curse. That's what they've been doing. That is not casting magic. That is uttering a curse. A curse does not require a wand. Physical magic and destruction does require a wand. Okay, Luke Skywalker can use the Force. The Force does not require an object or a weapon of any sort. Uh, as noted in the force, so if I were, yeah, the force is, um, it's an energy that is in every living thing and controls everything in the universe, okay? So it's kind of, let's think of it as like a cosmic energy, and Jedi can manipulate that cosmic energy. So like, I can look at that can and I can just go like this and lift it up in the air and crush it if I want to without okay. actually touching it. So Luke, if he want, Luke is one of the most powerful Jedi in history. Okay, Harry Potter is a 17-year-old boy. I respect Harry Potter. Actually, yes. hold on, hold on here. Hold on. Where in the story are we talking? Because it is it is documented it in the fictional okay. universe that he grows up to be an or. So if we're talking Perfect. adult Harry Potter versus adult Luke Skywalker. Let, fine, let's talk about adult Harry Potter because Luke Skywalker. He, yeah, he's an or who is literally like part of the Ministry of Magic yeah. who are like some of the powerful That's, and I respect that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but Luke, but, Luke however, Skywalker. But. All he would have to do is literally just go like this and snap okay, Harry's okay, wand in half and then choke Harry with his mind. Yeah. Is Luke, is can Luke... Detect, uh, yep, you can detect sentient beings. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But it, can Luke force choke um, in canon, though? Because obviously yeah. he can. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Have yep. you ever okay. played... Oh, oh God. As far as, like... Like, anywhere. Like, can he teleport anywhere? Like, they can well, it depends. I guess if, you if he gets to the point, eight, yeah, uh, when he he recreates his image on crate when he's not actually that's on true. Crate, he can but that is that is a difference between he can um he can essentially project himself to where Harry can actually teleport his physical essence. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah, anywhere. It's not like limited by distance or anything. Yeah. yeah, so he could he could. Well, like like Voldemort did, like Voldemort when they were fighting in the uh, in Deathly Hollows Part Two, he literally teleported behind him and then um, sent uh, uh, Navia. To yeah. attack Harry from behind. Nagini. Nagini, Nagini not Navia. <laughs> Nagini. Sorry. I just We just watched I the think, movies, too. I should know this. I just think that Luke is too powerful. You pick too powerful of a Jedi to go up against Harry Potter. I think Luke would. See, Tristan was telling me I should have done Anakin. <laughs> but almost like... Anakin's so like, deep in exactly. the dark that he would have fucked Harry up. Uh, he would have snapped his fingers and just killed him. Yeah. Like, it would have exploded. Yeah. What? I don't know if a Patronus is going to stop the dark side, dude. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the just power the of love. I think that where we're at right now is three for Harry and one for Luke. I think we can. I think that's fair. Well, I'm curious Harry, what everybody Harry, else thinks, though. Let us know in the comments. Uh, who do you think would win? Moving on, we got Thor versus Hercules. Oh, and I'll let you guys kick this one off this time. I feel like that's a, I don't know. Because Thor is the god. Of, 
fucking love for doing it too. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thor's the God of Thunder. Yep. I, mean, I, was, I, was, I really love um, the Nordic God of Thunder, yes. What do you think, Cole? I'm While they're pondering it over. Um, see, Tito and I were talking about this beforehand, obviously, planning out the episode. Why I let I plan out the episode. Of course Tito. I fucking no, talk to him Tito. about this. He doesn't want to get on the Tito? show. He doesn't want to get on the show. So. I just need to know why you're called Tito. Oh, because it started with uh so Lainey Kessler, uh, who we used to work mm. with at Olive mm-hmm. Garden. Shout out Lainey. Yeah, She's fucking so amazing. Much. Everybody, everybody she who knows Lainey says her. nothing but amazing things. Yeah, when she I is. She's the coolest fucking person. But she hey. gave him. It was uh, so originally it was tree stand, and then we started calling him uh, T Dog, and then it was T Doe. T Dog off of T-Dog. waiting. Was that where? She yes. Got the idea yes. Okay. Well, no. She called him Tree Stand instead of Tristan. It was Tree Stand. <laughs> tree Stand. That's pretty good. And then we had we had T Dog for a little bit, and then it became T Doe. So he used to be my phone as T E E D O, and then eventually it just became Tito. Because right. it's just Tito. So Fair it reminds enough. me of Tito's vodka. Yep, me yep. too. Mm-hmm. I do. No, it's. Cheap. I mean, we used to we used to keep in in the house all the time, but that's just because it was cheap and not how bad. Much, how much are we uh, paying Tito to produce this show today? Um, I believe we are not pre- paying him. Um, I <laughs> live with him. I live that's with him. That's how much I would pay for the vodka too. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Well, if you guys haven't heard, Jace is bougie as fuck. I am not bougie. You don't even know what bougie means. Uh, it's trying to it's trying to be high dollar uh, and trying to be fancy schmancy about shit, homie. And which which means you have standards too. But all I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I am saying is I had to run three different downtown yeah. hotel options past this man the other day before he finally selected one. That's all I'm saying about that. Would you let her talk? <laughs> you are terrible. I, I am. I am. He's like, the cut microphone. him off right now. Oh, as we're getting lost. Bougie is like that song. Yeah, that, that, that was actually going through my head when you said when I grew up, I want to be Lainey. That is literally right there for Bougie. Is that I don't know why. I just, I just, I love it about you, yep. Jace. I give you shit because I appreciate you. Oh, it's the only time I'm going to give you a compliment. I Fuck love yourself. this for us. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this for us. Love that. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Thor versus Hercules. Cole, you were about to go on a. Um. Yeah. Honestly, if it's movie Hercules, uh, if we're if we're talking cinema universe, Thor. If we're talking Thor, because uh, movie uh, movie movie no, Hercules I'm Disney sure. Disney I'm Hercules mythology. Yeah, I was about to say, but like I said, I would like to think of the mythos here for both Thor and Hercules. And Hercules is pretty much indestructible in the mythos. Like, you have to literally drag him down and fucking drown him in the river Styx. So, even if they were, if you put the base of this battle at the river Styx, I mean, Thor has to luck out to beat him, I still think, because, I mean, Hercules is the son of Zeus, so I imagine there's some sort of lightning immunity there. At this point, we should just talk about Osidius. At the, I'm just saying. The way, the way that I look at it, though, I don't know. Why did I say Osidius? I meant Odysseus. Is that how you Odysseus, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. It's a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. I think we should talk about Insidious. Um, Dark Lord of the Sea. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Is the most powerful demigod, but he's he is a demigod. demigod, but again, he's a demigod. Yeah. That's where my tiebreaker came into. Yeah. Yep. So don't get me wrong, I do kind of agree with that aspect of like Hercules is kind of like an instructional being, but at the same time, he doesn't have the same powers. And can Hercules pick up Thor's hammer? No. Well, exactly. actually, we don't, might, we don't know if he's worthy. We don't know if he's worthy. We don't know if he's worthy. It doesn't matter if you're a god or not, it's about your righteousness, and I do think Hercules is. Uh, gone down the mm, heroes and the righteous path. I don't. I just. Who's on the other side? Odysseus. Uh, well, oh no, no Perseus. Perseus, Perseus, yeah, Perseus. Perseus killed. Okay. Perseus killed Medusa. Okay. Disney movie. Hercules Disney went around movie. and he performed righteous acts to try to re-earn his godhood. Okay. Is what he did. So he he was a very righteous demigod. He was actually because <coughs> you have to be pure of heart and righteous in order right. to get into Mount Olympus, and so he. 
And that's when you become a piece of shit. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> he is such a douchebag. But, oh, don't worry. We'll get you started after this well, death okay, match. Okay. Um, hard to say. Yeah. It's very hard to say. I will vote Hercules. I will go on the table and say, say Hercules. I I'm gonna go with Thor this. I'm gonna have to agree. Ty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and disagree. here's another thing. Hercules is technically mortal. Thor is not. Exactly. So, yeah. Hercules can die. Thor can't. There's that god, like, yeah. there's that god power. Yep. That full god power. I don't know, but, like, if we're going to get real deep here, can you kill God? No. No. We're not, <laughs> we're not, I'm just saying. Not, I'm just yeah. saying, yeah, I'm not it's saying. Not. Can you kill a god? That's that's all my question yep. is, can you kill a god? I'm just saying, God of War did it. Maybe that's why clouds are the color. I feel like I'm going to go watch Hercules in the Odyssey when I get one. Jesus that. fucking Christ. <laughs> The next death match is Odin versus Zeus. Oh Odin versus God. Zeus is our final okay, yeah. death monster Mine death match. <laughs> Dan, Odin, we, yeah, Odin okay. is the yep. He's the all father. He so, is the uh, head of the patriarchy of the Norse gods. So he's Essentially, he's the dads. He's We're Thor's doing dad. the dads. We're doing the dads yep. here. So Zeus is Hercules' dad. Odin is Thor's dad. Yeah, exactly. This is literally my dad can beat your dad up. Um, it's hard to say. I don't know. Odin seems like a very... Wasn't he respectful than Zeus was? I think... I here's what it comes down to for Zeus me. Is <laughs> oh, hands down. Yeah, let me let me turn into a falcon so I can fuck this chick. Yeah. Dude, Hades is literally just... Yeah, he is... He's doing his job. Hades is just like, you know what? I'm not a fan of being the gatekeeper to hell, but I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Zeus was like. If Jeffrey Dahmer was given godhood, he'd be Zeus. I think he's more of a Ted Bundy. More of a Bundy. I would. Or Ted, I, sorry, yeah, I more, more of a Bundy. More of a Bundy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because Zeus, Zeus would go into multiple forms. He'd take half human forms. He'd take half animal forms. He'd take full human forms. Yeah. Yeah. He would either rape or he'd seduce or he'd mischief. Like Zeus would just, Zeus just fucked whether you were game or not. All right. Like Zeus just fucked and raped and was the worst piece of shit of all time. Mm -hmm. Literally. Like, yeah, like that's. Really was. So for that, for that pure reason. Oh. Well, this is a big, lovable father figure. <laughs> oh, you know, my boy, it's good to have you back on the mountain. Dad, where were you at? Well, I was just down turning myself into a swan and boinking some girls. And then I turned myself into a bull and then, and then an eagle. And then a duck. Did you know they have corkscrew penises? Yeah. It's one of them. It's one of them. Uh, Greek. Greek, Greek and gods. Yeah. yeah, Roman gods are the copy and pasting of yeah. Greek gods, and then they're the, name, they're the, they're the planets, yeah. 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 I know much about the Norse gods, I know more about Greek gods, and like Aries, so. So if you want to dive into Odin a little bit, I think you have yeah. a lot of knowledge on this. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm going to go definitely, without hesitation, Odin is going to fuck Zeus up. Um, Odin is unbelievably Close. powerful. He is older than Zeus. Zeus was born five years after Earth was created. Odin has been around long before the cosmos. So Odin is older, wiser, more powerful. He has more experience. He, he has more experience. And here's the thing. Odin beat Surtur, which is a demon god that has the ability to shatter and change dimensions. And Odin beat him. So I think he can take Zeus to fight. The only thing that I will say is Zeus defeated his father. Yep. The Titan who was... Kronos. Kronos. Sorry. Oh, I now was... you're going to talk. You want a mic? No, you know? he... <laughs> he's, here, he's just here to correct us. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yep. So he was a father of the he, Titan. Yeah, he was King Titan. Yeah, exactly. He was King Titan. Yep. And he's being him and he's being not me. So I, I feel like I feel like the power and quality is definitely there because when you look at it from, I'm not, I'm not teasing. Yeah. Well, we've already talked about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's 2,000 years as opposed to 10,000 years. Way stronger than Emmett, and Emmett's superpower is being super strong. It's like that aspect, sweet kind of thing. Like, newer in that sense, or he's stronger in that sense. But Odin is wiser, so he's, like, he knows his strengths. 
Well, Odin has a third eye that can tell the future too. Like Odin is yeah. like the master strategist, like out of any of this. Oh yeah, he's so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what? Like, hundreds of days. I don't know. He's really good at penetrating in battle, but apparently, <laughs> like. <laughs> Odin and Zeus are there on like a power level, but Odin is the epitome. He's literally a symbol for the word wisdom. And I think that Odin's brains. He is. Yeah, <laughs> Zeus a ho. Uh, Zeus a ho. <laughs> Zeus a ho. I think that uh, Odin's wisdom and intelligence gives him the edge. And, it, you know, that's. He wasn't more powerful than Searcher when he beat him. Right. He outsmarted him. And I think that's how he would beat Zeus too. I think so. And you have to imagine if Thor is the god of lightning, hopefully yeah. that rubbed off a little bit and on he, Daddy. I feel like we should give him a reason to be boxed. I do think he's pretty safe, right? I mm-hmm. and I just sleep alone for a long time. But I think the reason that Zeus even became that strong is he could do defeat Titans. Didn't he eat like his, one of his personal eat gods, like daughters or something? He got the help from a lot of his Jesus Christ. A lot of his children, a lot of the other gods oh, assisted him. Yeah. He, yeah, it is. He did not beat Kronos by himself. It was him and all the gods combined. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. I think. What do you what do you think? No, I completely agree with everything that you're saying right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. Sweep the board with Odin. Yes. He wins. Finally I'm not outmatched. Holy shit. <laughs> I won one. God. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The blind squirrel does find the nut once in a while. There we go. All right. You're usually right, though. I usually just oppose you just to be like the shit. the chaotic evil of this show. Yeah. No, we need to have a good balance. And we it's do. been very we well do. established across yep. the fishing elephant brand that even though I own this company, I am definitely our heel. I, uh, I oh, am our bad power guy. Flex there? Yeah. So even though I own this company. I do. I do. <laughs> I paid the three hundred and fifty dollars through Legal Zoom to do an LLC. Okay, <laughs> that is all it takes to start a company, ladies and gentlemen. For you to be a business owner, so the next time someone says that they're a business owner, take it with a fucking grain of salt. I'm a business owner. Okay, this right here. You want to know why I came up with Fishing Elephant Media? I was eating a Subway sandwich one day. That's a How I Met Your Mother joke. I was eating a Subway sandwich one day, and I was like, you know what? We're just going to call this thing Fishing Elephant. I texted Jace that. He's like, why is it going to be Fishing Elephant Media? I'm like, because it's fucking nonsense. It's great. It makes That's no why. sense whatsoever. Nonsense yeah. is the best. Yep. It, is. it keeps you questioning. One, if like, I have like, a it's not yeah. standard. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Smashing Pumpkins isn't where they're at because they were <laughs> Halloween themed, all right? Because it was fucking know, weird. It's, it's just yeah. like, oh, Smashing Pumpkins. Okay, uh, but Fishing Elephants. Oh, I'm Smashing Pumpkins. Bowling for soup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm Smashing Pumpkins. Any questions? Yeah. So I'm going to go on. Uh, Bush? I'm going to go on unethical podcast for uh, the Halloween episode, and I'm going to dress up as David Pumpkins on the show. It. It's either that uh, or it's Morticia Adams. They're deciding if they want to do the Adams family, and I have drawn the straw as Morticia. Oh, my God. So on, 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 on unethical with Tally and Celeste and all those guys? With Morticia. I, hey, you can definitely spot on for me. Listen, they just wanted to know if I wanted to come on the Halloween no, episode, and I'm like, makeup. shit, let's do it. You need to do it you need to be more to show. You could be cousin no, it. You wouldn't yeah. even have to dress up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I can grow facial hair. <laughs> Look you, man. Yeah, the human baby over here. <laughs> the human baby. Yeah, this is my 30-year-old man-child, Jace. He's going to be the finance manager. That's right. This I is the man who controls all the financial decisions. He can't grow a mustache. Have fun, people. Yep. Just kidding. I trust you because you can't grow a mustache. <laughs> There's something honest about that. You can grow a full beard. I'm just jealous yep. of you, Tristan. There's windows in my car. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say you why can't that that's say really it. funny. Yep. No, nope. no, I can't to you because this involves a conversation I had the other day, and I'm going to keep it the private, but it's fucking hilarious. Um, Anyways, you... shout out to Alyssa. You know what I'm talking about. Merry Christmas. Um, sh- that one's privately. That one's private. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to do a continue. Continue. Continuing on. Through this incredible episode, I just realized that I never actually introduced our beer of the week. What? That's you just normal. missed the mother load. I did, yes. So, <laughs> L- Lottie, Lodi, Lodi. Uh, for <laughs> this week's beer of the week, I selected Mother Load by Sawyer Brewing. If you haven't been to Sawyer, they're in Spearfish. Probably one of the best breweries in the area. I absolutely love them. And this one caught my eye in particular because it's a collaboration beer. 
with top, Topping Goliath. Now, Topping Goliath is based out of Iowa. Very successful brewery on a national level. If you've been in a liquor store in a beer aisle, you've seen the Pseudo Sioux beer. It's the big purple T-Rex one. They're, they're very famous for that, but they're all over the country. And the fact that they did a collaboration brew with a small town, a small brewery here in South Dakota is awesome. Uh, it's an IPA. That's kind of what Sawyer specializes in. And I'm going to be honest, it's one of the better ones I've had. I was it is say, it's pretty really good. good. It is really good. I absolutely love it. Uh, if you get a chance, if you're in Spearfish, stop by Sawyer. Check it out. Uh, if you want to pick it up here in town, I got this one at uh, Mr. Liquor right up the road here on Deadwood Avenue. So Mother Load IPA from Sawyer Brewing. Beer of the Week. I need, like, a little research on it. I don't want to put beer because I'm not a huge fan of IPA, but I don't know. I'm vaccinated. And I am sober. I am lovely. Uh, <laughs> I bet it tastes good. Save one for me. Save one for me. Save one for me. Bring one to Denver with us. Drink a beer when a 10-day vacation. Yeah, yeah, drink a beer when a 10-day vacation. You Have mean? you and your loved ones always wanted <laughs> to like stay gross. at home? I'm not a gay person at all. I prefer, like, sours yeah. and ciders and yeah. I really like Are dark beer. Are you my wife? <laughs> I really like dark beer. Guinness is, like, my favorite beer. Are you me? Dude, that, that that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like Tony was like, "Yeah, I'll fuck yeah, I'll drink an IPA." And you walked in with like the mother load here, and I'm Sorry, just like, "Yes." No, you're good. I can't remember what the sour was. We had that for the longest time, and it was like my favorite drink. Why did we have it? Had it in so long. I forgot what it's called. We switch all the time. Yeah, that's just when you get creative. Yep. But it's, I think it's from Oh, um, lemon bar. No. Um, horse and balls. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a uh, curio sour. Yes, is that curio it? sour. Yep. Yes, I love that. That's like one of my favorites. Yep, my wife likes that one too. Yeah, it's, it it's like you are my wife and you are me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think my favorite beer in the world is? Hmm, don't put me on the spot here. I'm gonna get it wrong. I'm just gonna say it's thick, <laughs> like a it's thick and black. Yeah, it's it's thick like a PTA meeting. <laughs> it's a stout. Yeah, it's or a stout. stout. You already said it. Is it Guinness? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, yep. We literally went to Ireland and went to the Guinness store. Oh, my gosh. See, my old boss, when like, I lived in Arizona, yeah. he went there, and it, he was oh. just like, oh, the Guinness there is way different than you'll ever it get is. here. And, and I'm just like, oh. Guinness is my favorite beer in Every the world. bar I, I go to, like I will milk. I will order a Guinness. If and like the right. Yeah. Yep. And the best Guinness that I've had so far, because I haven't gone to a lot of places, would have to be... Um, Independent ale. Okay. Yep. That's like the only place so far because I haven't yep. gone to a lot of places. Yep. They definitely pour it right <coughs> but yeah. yeah. Like yeah. port 54, like it's not bad, but yeah. given that since you have to pour it and everything, it just doesn't feel, I don't know, it doesn't well, taste as like yeah. chilled and like, I don't know. Yep. You know Absolutely. What I, mean? I know exactly yeah. what you mean. So. Okay. Um, what's. what's Oh there yeah, is. you yep. oh, have to yes. pour Guinness, it's and you have to let pour. it sit. Yep. You can't just like drink it as soon as you pour it. Well, so. No, but even if you don't pour it, when somebody else pours it and they give it to you right away, you don't want to like drink it. You want to let it sit. Well, uh, Guinness uh, comes in a split keg. Okay, there's a di uh, Guinness is a mixture. Okay, so there's two different parts of the beer. Uh, you'll notice if you go to a bar and you see somebody pouring a Guinness, they'll pull the tap handle forward. And then when they're uh, finishing up, they'll push it back, okay? They're drawing two different lines through the tap, okay? So you, it's called a four-pour. It's called a four-pour for four-minute pour. That's how long it should take to pour a Guinness. You pour it forward. You fill the glass three-fourths of the way. And you let it sit for three full minutes. And then you come back to it and you push it backwards this time, fill it up to the top of the glass. You let it sit for an additional full minute, and then you serve it. So if you order a Guinness and you get it within a minute, they did not pour it yep. right. And if you're waiting for a while, then that's why. Because like there, like there yep. are times where I have people that are next to me and they'll order a Guinness, and they're like, "Why is it taking so long?" I see it sitting right there, and it's like, "No, there's mm -hmm. a reason for that." And when you've had a properly poured one, every other if they don't pour it right, it tastes like shit. Yep. yep. I had a Guinness poured with CO2 one time, and I got pissed. Like, I was horrible. That's not even possible. That's yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm I fucking, like, I'm fucking what with you. What is going oh, on? I'm fucking like, with you. <laughs> You literally can't run. Well, I mean, you could, but... <laughs> could you imagine, though? Yeah. That thick-ass spirit? Down on that bar, oh, yeah. Never no, I, to be I, 
the CO2. I just wanted yeah. to see how, how fucking good I can get you. <laughs> That's like a six on the Jace reaction scale. It is. Uh, I regularly what? fuck with this man every single day. It's bad. Uh, it's bad. Weird news of the week. Here we go. No, 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 no. Hold on. On the next segment, it's the weird news of the week. Get some pump into it, buddy. Woo! All right. This is the weirdest news, and yeah. The weirdest <laughs> news. We are going to the near, we are to the news, yeah. yeah. So, going off first, yeah. We have, and I just want to say this is really fucked up because they say, I will give you the title of this and then we'll explain the story and you'll see why it's messed up. So, the title is Rogue Grandma Breaks into a Water Park and Breaks Her Bones After Sliding on a Slide. The story, essentially the synopsis is, is a UK woman, Claire Vickers, and her friend, Barry Douglas, 46 and 44 individually. That's why it's fucked up. It's like barely a grandma. She got like a two-year-old at home because her daughter is having kids at a probably respectable age. Happens all the time now. But they snuck into... So, it Tani, if you want theory. to. I don't want to water. If, no, I was just saying, you can do what most of our viewers do and walk away when Cole's talking and go get a water. Yeah, you 100% can do that. You can 100% do it. Yeah. Yep. Mm, we've all witnessed. I just said, cancel that. You didn't give it to me. I didn't have my own water bottle. So I was trying to give your water bottle. So it doesn't okay, count. We're, talking Sorry. About, we're trying to talk about grandma's getting wet here. Sorry. I just need that. Okay, continue. Yeah. Speaking about some wet ass grandmas, okay. some fucking wag over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wag. <laughs> so here's the problem. Uh, the wag of the finger. They broke their legs because it wasn't wet enough. The pair snuck into Aldershot Lido Water Park, which is a British-sounding-ass water park. Aldershot Lido Water Park uh, in England, in the UK. And the drunken duo splashed water on the side, hoping to lube it up a bit. Well, that did not work. Uh, the drunken ride soon became a nightmare when they slammed into the barrier towards the bottom. Their legs collect, co uh, collided with the barrier, shattering their feet and fracturing one of their shins. Vickers described the incident... Like a scene out of the horror film Saw. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes. Oh, yep, 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 Wally, when he fucking, he's like, hey, Wally, was the field goal good? No, <laughs> I was just thinking of when they pee in the pool, and it's like a dark yeah, blue. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just like, what is that? That's when you pee in the pool, and then it's like super dark blue, and they're like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> what is that? Oh, yeah, anyway, yeah, that would be Right? Could you imagine getting called to that 911 call and then you go home and it's like, hey, mom, can you watch the kids? Uh, no, why? Oh, yeah, that's right. Your leg was broken in 37 different ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you show up and it's a couple of 40 year olds. Like, we expect this out of the people our <laughs> right. age. Like, you know, yeah. like, not so much. Excuse me, this grandmother's only 14 years older than I am, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, is that sensitive? Quite sensitive, actually. Yeah, see, see, people may people may tune out when I talk on this show, but no one would watch the show if we were on later than eight p.m. You know, for your fucking viewership. So. Yeah, it's true. Okay, Jeopardy's Scoop. on at six thirty. Yeah, it's over at seven. <laughs> They're ready for the podcast. We'll Listen, God damn it, Cole, I have my shows. Before, don't worry, I got this. Yeah, the only reason we needed yep. to start at seven thirty, he needed to be home by nine. I so yep. yeah, yep. dialysis medication no and shit like that. Comes on. Oh, true. Feel that? I'm going to do dialysis <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. I'm fine. Yeah. But she literally, when you see it there, like, come on, it's all real. Gotta watch the wheel. Yeah. Somebody who just went to prison yeah. right on Sunday. And I totally thought talk. you said prison for a second. Was somebody went to prison for that, a second. That, that, that was, was like, five oh. years ago. <laughs> yep. I never went to prison. I went to jail. There's a difference, okay? I've no. never gone to jail. I've, like, I've, I've made friends every, every single I've been time. In jail for a couple of days, and that was it. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I feel like if huh. I didn't pay my. You know, we're gonna save that story for another time. Yeah. Week, we're we're, we're saving. We're gonna piss some people off. We're gonna cut yep. that off here. <laughs> yes, and I already love where you're going with this. We're gonna move on to our second weird news story of the week, and this was my favorite one. <laughs> this it. is my I'm favorite excited. fucking story I have found oh for this God. segment. I'm so so the Alaskan authorities are looking for a group of violent otters that is mysteriously attacking people and dogs in Alaska. <laughs> so there is a group of three this otters. Dogs? 
No, they have attacked a nine-year-old child and, and several dogs. There's like four different incidents to where they have been around. Um, yeah, so the Alaska, Alaska Department of Fish and Game has asked residents to be alert around local lakes and rivers as these otters are going to different areas and attacking people. They've actually attacked a nine-year-old named Aiden Fernandez who was <laughs> filming the four otters in a duck pond with his brother. And one of the animals split from the group and just fucking went after him. Yeah, and the po- otter just pounced on him. He was biting him, scratching him. Uh, thank God the nine-year-old is okay, but we literally have a group of otters. And Jace, I'm going to kick over to you. What does this remind you of? <laughs> well, this reminds me of one of my favorite shows, and that show is South Park. Okay? My favorite oh my show. God. My number one favorite show, I will say. <laughs> High five. Yeah, it's so fantastic. Same. 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 That's that fucking awesome. great. I can see why you might not like your mom now, though. <laughs> All right, please, well, please. This yeah. this reminds me of some of my favorite characters in South Park, and that is the otters. atheist otters of the future. It's the. Oh my god. <laughs> I like, dude, go god go episodes. Yeah, if you haven't seen the episode, it's the, a two parter. The it's future so is controlled by like hyper sentient atheist otters, and that is like I'm wa- I'm reading this article earlier, and I'm like, oh my god, it's actually <laughs> happening! Like they're they're rising up. We will we will crush their skulls and eat their innards off of our tummies. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, like, oh my god, it's so cute. Like you just, but it's like you don't run away, but you're like, it's literally freaking out on you. It's like, I'm enjoying this one. Yeah. How often do you get to say you get in a fight yeah. with an otter? That's yeah, like, like, if I die like that, like, you know, my fucking gravestone, right? Like, death by KO. Death by KO, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. knock otter. I might otter. go out, but I'm going to have to at least try to establish dominance. I can't yeah. let an otter beat me yeah. up. I'm just going to, I'm going to wrestle it. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. I'm like, how are we establishing dominance with this otter here? Because I'm really worried. <laughs> I'm really worried how you're going to be establishing dominance against this otter. Yeah, do what you got to do. That's right. Fucking take it. <laughs> hey, I'm not Zeus, okay? On <laughs> your tummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't control this one. All right. No, no, no. Please keep snorting. It adds. It adds to the episode. I promise right. you. But moving on to the last story. Holy shit! There is a 27-year-old toilet that was found in Jerusalem. So Israeli archaeologist. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> the liberal media has found my old toilet out in Israel today, which would be appropriate because just like Rush Limbaugh is probably buried in the fucking ground when they found it. So. Yeah, oh I just God. think of when like, yeah, somebody gave my mother mustard seeds. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Tony, what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say, like, my mom literally had this, like, tin can, and it was, like, asteroids, but when you open it up, she's like, these are mustard seeds. This is what the pastor so-and-so gave us and said that they when they were in Israel, this was from the land that Jesus walked on. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? And she's like, you're supposed to keep it and treasure it. Like, God is with you. You heard it here first. Jesus likes mustard over ketchup. Yep. <laughs> confirmed. Confirmed. Seeds. He was seeds. He was oh. he was big on the whole mustard seeds too. Yeah. So then again, he got a lot of tomatoes thrown at him at one yeah. point in his life. So he's probably very anti ketchup. Yes, um, on that Yeah, note. yeah. No, they they did throw tomatoes on him at the crucifixion. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, tomatoes were the main like supposed to be like the main vegetable, the I think. If I if I remember my Sunday school right, like I don't remember Bible <laughs> verses for shit, but I, I remember to Bible camp and I went fishing pole. Yeah. Just from going there every single day. Not because I wanted to. I was forced to. Yeah. But I want a fishing pole. Anybody else know? Something. Well, that's because Catholic women use a lot of cucumbers. Yeah. Everything made for children is by a bunch of guys who just take LSD in a room until one of them comes up with a concept. SpongeBob in just a nutshell right there. Oh, God, yeah. What was I watching? Or... 
Let's see, not too long ago. That I'm about like, to break the seal. I will be back. You guys continue this. Do it. Run. Yeah. I can get out of my oh, oh my God. God. Speaking of breaking the seal, back to our story here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tom, for that uh, wonderful segment there. But moving on back, we had a limestone toilet that is over 2,700 years old. Back in ancient Jerusalem, you see that the deal was is only the rich had toilets. So in the old city part of Jerusalem, they did go ahead and find this toilet in a rectangular cabin that was on a much larger mansion property. So it looked Looks like the rich are only getting richer with this limestone toilet, and that's the news. How was that for you guys? Was that good? Was that good for the story? Yes. I got through it. Yep. Um, that's what your wife says. So. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn. That was. I'm just. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's a very happy lady, so I'm sure you're doing good. <laughs> nothing ever warrants the shit that comes out of my mouth. Nope. Nothing ever. Nothing does. ever warrants the shit that comes out of my mouth ever. Like, please, please just know it is a chaotic clusterfuck yeah, of shit that will get us canceled. <laughs> oh yeah, on the Tinder episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to drag her, but all she's but but literally she had the rope and she's like, "Come on, bitch, let's go." <laughs> Tony's fucking lifeless legs just hanging out up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're like Tinder nightmares. Let's just call the fuck out of Tawny here real fast. <laughs> and then I'm over here in the background. Oh. Well, we were over here and we're talking Tinder and they're like, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Here's me behind the computer. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's so bad. <laughs> that's, you know, that's where Alyssa and I started talking. If that's cat out of the bag. Yeah, we can always edit this out. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. 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 No. You know, Whoa. What dates me more than anything is my wife and I started dating before online dating was, was a big thing. Was no, a big we, thing. Oh, maybe no, because my parents, uh, my okay, I already fucking outed them. My mom and my stepdad. Um, my mom and my stepdad connected online. It wasn't. I don't know if it was through a dating website, but they did connect online. And I know back then there were some like eHarmony was, was and Match. dot com. Uh, RuneScape girlfriend. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they're playing RuneScape together because my mom, who calls me about Directv at her house, oh, still. Yeah. Oh no, no! You and Steph met what at a party? I think no, yeah, like we, the we natural were, way. We were friends for a yeah, yeah. I was about to say the natural media. way. Yep. Yeah, me over here. I befriended somebody. I got a job through him. I followed him to a different dealership. I had him invite me to a draft at Buffalo Wild Wings just so I can meet his sister in law. This whole ploy has been to get to Alyssa this entire time. You Our friendship is a bitch. lie. This podcast is a lie. It's all a lie. A lie. <laughs> 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 it's all a cruel ploy to gain your trust. Uh. All right. Well, we didn't talk much about the toilet. The limestone toilet. Yep. The limestone. It had Hopefully yours was more comfortable, Tommy. It was very comfortable. That's very good. Warm. That's good to hear. Kind of creepy, that, well, you know, you know, it's, it's like, no porcelain. All right. you know. <laughs> limestone wouldn't do that to you. A good limestone toilet. <laughs> it's, it's all they had back then to yeah. make toilets. That's oh, all. Yeah. That's <laughs> all. Can you imagine yeah. slamming some Taco <laughs> Bell and Popeyes and then... Two hours later, <laughs> looking at the toilet, and it's made out of rock. It's like, oh, God, I thought this oh. was going to get any worse. <laughs> oh, caveat to this here, ladies and gentlemen, or ladies and gentlemen, as I use my proper texture there. Um, they had the toilet right next to the table. So uh, in traditional rich culture, you would have the toilet right next to the table. So when you got done eating, you could just, you know, go ahead and take care of your business right away. There was no awkward, you know, waddle to the bathroom. You just said, oh, that's, <laughs> that's about it. Waddle, I don't know. Waddle, waddle. Yep. Yeah, there's no like, shit walk. Kylie, Kylie, they they weren't bathing back there. Yeah. You got to remember, this is a room yeah. that's already full of and funk. They just empty out the bucket. That's so after they were done. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is a room that's already full of funk. Just. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you got to remember these are. Yeah, this is also a room where just just to keep in mind, you have people who wore layers upon layers upon layers who did not shave, who did not wash more than like monthly or a couple times a year. So this room was rank. Rank. If you think nature's bad, bro, most animals can clean themselves. So like up until the advent of like modern hygiene, there's some sticky ass pussies out there, all right? All I'm saying. (laughs) We're editing that one out. (laughs) Who would have thought? Thank you. You don't got to edit that out. (laughs) What? The stanky pussy comment? Stinky pussy, stinky Listen, pussy, stinky guys pussy, don't really pussy. struggle with that 
issue. Stank dick? Oh, hell yeah, we do. do oh, hands down. Hands down. Do Have you... Do oh, stank dick? Hands down. Dick cheese. I don't know. I've never gotten dick cheese. I've never gotten dick cheese, but I will say, like, stank dicks. St oh, 100%. Are you kidding me? Especially after, like, a long day of, like, fucking car sales, bro. If I, w if I showered, like, the night before, and I fucking work a hard-ass day sweating my balls off, and then I come here, and then I get home at 9, 10 o'clock at night, yeah, when I'm going to shower, I'm not, it is not exactly sunflower and roses down up in that motherfucker, all right? Like, I need to take a shower. I'm a man. I stink out of my armpits. What the hell do you think is going to happen out of the area that I'm covered in most of the time? Seriously, like I'm just saying. I just feel like girls have it worse. Dick don't stank is oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. It can get a lot sucks, worse. Is a lot of times people are like, oh, it's from sex. It's like no, it's not just from sex. Like. Oh. I. This episode sponsored by Sponge Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Yeah, Scrub Daddy. Oh, yeah, no, what is it? This, this episode is sponsored by Vagisil. I created it for my wife. Bro. She is my minge. <laughs> yeah, like, no, for real though. The first person to invent Vagisil, I, I hope that person was a woman. Because if it was a man, I don't think I'm so. I don't think so. Person. Because isn't okay, correct me as a man here, but isn't that like also like not like the best product? Let me get or I don't know how this works. I don't have one. I don't have one at home. I can't just go home and just inspect the oh, fucking owner's manual. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, okay. I mean, listen. I can't judge. I'm a dude. Whatever y'all do is whatever y'all do. It was yeah. The guy yeah. That created bad I, I believe it. Okay. Well, and no judgment. I just, I just heard that products like that from certain people are. It's yeah. not the best kind of product. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're just squeezing Vagisil into a fucking paint roller. That's so bad for you. That's what I was going to say. That's so bad for you. That's like, I think it's like a douche, and douche is so bad for you. Dude, all the, men, all, the, all the men who are uncomfortable with feminine talk are going to fucking love the last fight. No, 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 please keep it going. I know like a bunch of like over 40 year olds who like, you say the word pussy or vagina, they probably turn it off already. I love this. Continue. That's what the podcast yeah, is. Yeah, that's what the pod's all about. Yeah. Listen, you didn't get to watch Star Wars growing up. You can do whatever the fuck yeah, you want, exactly. really. You've earned this. You have girl. earned this, girl. All right. You've done struggles. Yeah. You have earned this. Yeah. Don't be ashamed. Bad, no, it's bad. bad. And it smells weird because it just smells like chemicals. Do you? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I've done it once or twice. Oh, my parents are like, no, you never do that because it messes up. The it just body. feels weird because you put it in like a tampon and then you like squeeze this thing and then it shoots right out and you're just like, this smells. <laughs> <funny."> <laughs> I've called a lot of people a douche. I didn't know this is how it actually fucking yeah. like worked. I thought you just like you know like I thought you got like no, in proximity like perfume like you just squirted the motherfucker up there. Tube and then it has holes on either side and you push it in there like a like a tampon and then you squeeze the bottle full of liquid and as you squeeze it like it's supposed to cleanse you and then like the liquids are coming out but it smells. But, like, horrible. The thing about it is your body cleanses itself. You don't need that at all. If there's something wrong, if you just eat flaming hot Cheetos all the time. You need to go to the doctor or something. What did you just say about Flaming Hot Cheetos? Wait, I heard wait, Flaming wait. Hot Cheetos. I said come if on. that's all you eat is Flaming Hot Cheetos and like oh, you're okay. not like eating oh, yeah, anything else, so then yeah, yeah, it's not gotcha. going to be so. But like you yeah. don't need to do anything. You're, you're going to jail for something like that. Like, 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 it starts with a enough. That's what I don't think I ever called it. Yeah. 
No, I feel no, no please, I please. Hold on, let me get this back up. I'm gonna take fucking notes. Yeah. You realize you realize I'm dating a girl who has a daughter. I probably should learn this shit. Like at some point, like that might happen along the way. I gotta go pick this shit up from the store. I don't fucking know, man. All right. Exactly. It together when I was in that way you can school. be 12 years old and not know what the fuck you're talking about looking at the girl being like It's crazy. Yep. 100%. Yeah. Well, no, because it's, yeah, I mean, and that's that's the fucked up part about that. I mean, we, we're 100% on the train there. Like, well, we like to joke about it, and we like to be about, you know, kind of, quote, unquote, like, male culture and fuck around about it. It's yeah. like, no, like, for real, like, that needs to be something that is discussed more because, yeah. like you said, you have, you have girls who are becoming, like, full-grown adults, paying taxes, going to college and everything, and, and don't so actually know what so they're so living so with every second so of every day. So yeah. Same. I was in Walmart for like 30 fucking minutes trying to find the right box. <laughs> it's like, what? I no, literally no, 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 read the directions and it shows the directions and I used it completely wrong. So that's, okay, that's, that's what I say. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, send me the picture of the box and I'll go pick it up. I'm like, I am not above that. It's, it's a fucking normal human body function yeah. and sometimes, guess what, like you need that favor because like you're at work, yada, yada, so on and so forth. Like yeah, I'm like just send me a picture of the box because I'm not gonna fucking remember. All right, it's the uh, it's the 30 pack with the uh, with the with with the three selection. It's got these three. Yeah, yeah. It's got the super plus, the super plus minus, and then just the super in there as well. And I'm like, what's uh, what's um, I don't know if what's what's the difference and how. No, I don't want to tell you the difference. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But like I I'm really confused right now. Yeah. Just send me a picture of the box. It's so funny that he's like mentioning like super thing like another problem I have. Like people will be like. So? He's got a super no. flow, man. Yeah. He's got a super yeah. flow. Like, no, I yeah. have Listen, I just want to say one thing right now to this whole like uh, spatial awareness and vaginas thing. I've witnessed childbirth. Um, boys, you, we aren't shit, okay? I'm just saying women can pop a fucking baby out of that thing. We aren't jack, all right? We are not shit. When you think you're tearing it up, you're not, all right? Like, we can't do shit. <laughs> It's more about, like, when you're cleaning up a mess, do you want to use three paper towels or do you want to use the whole roll, okay? Like, just just depends on the mess size, all right? That's it's really what it comes down to. But, yeah, that, really that's a PSA. That is a PSA <laughs> there on behalf of women to all men. We aren't shit. And accept that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was about to say, I've known several well, people who have had C-sections. Like, I've witnessed actual childbirth. Like, I mean, I mean, either way, kudos. Yeah. 
listen, for me, I'm not saying guys suck. I'm just saying, like, women, like, that one ability, I think, trumps everything. Honestly. Yeah. Like, the fact that you can reproduce life, like, uh, we kind of lose on that I mean, aspect. Right? Just, just saying. Just want to clarify. It's essentially the real birth. Like, yes. If you say that, a real birth has been, like, like, they're both real. I don't believe that's, like, yep. it's actually not. I want to clarify uh, that. I doubt anybody. That it's that it's still a lot yeah. of painful, yeah. if not more. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Whether it's a what a cesarean section or whether it's a vaginal birth, I mean, it's all, it's all, it's all, it is all having a child. It is all the fucking beauty of life, and it all will probably make me almost pass out the next time I see it. So, yep, because I almost did the first time. I was like, "That's a baby's head." Oh shit! Yeah. Why all of a sudden are my why is my eyesight getting really thin right now? So I funny. need to hold on yeah. to something no. that's not the leg. See, and like my mom passed out uh, while she was giving birth to her first kid because yeah. of like. She hates blood. She hates any side of that. And then it was so funny because, like, my sisters had five kids. And, like, yeah. her fifth kid, my niece Taylor, she was actually the only one in that room while my yeah. sister was giving birth. And she was watching the whole thing. And she was just, like, in shock. And she was the first one to hold Taylor. And she was looking at Taylor. And she was like, oh, my God. I'm holding somebody that you just had in your stomach and like she looked like she was like excited but mm -hmm. she wanted to throw up at the same time <laughs> and even though she gave birth several times she was just like what the fuck like yeah. i'm holding this right now and i watched it but yeah no yeah. it's crazy yeah regardless of if you're a woman or not it's just like oh my god mm -hmm. like human beings you know yeah. yeah like i said i witnessed it once in my life and i was just like a what? But uh, to go on your story here, what happened was, is when Cole was 18 years old, he started dating somebody. And in that relationship, uh, before we, we had person? coitus, I yes. uh, found out that she was pregnant. Long story short, I was with her for a good extended amount of time, including the entire pregnancy and the birth of the child, which the father was not there for. Now, do you guys want to hear a really great plot twist that makes this all phenomenal? Yes. Guess who she ended up with? The father of this kid. So they cannot show the whole uh, day of pictures because guess who wasn't there? So shout out to the people if you ever see guess this, Kendall and David. There. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your family is fantastic and I have no ill will. And on that note, cheers. We got to tie this episode off. So Personal. Thank you. Uh, they didn't watch this podcast. Fuck them. Fuck them. No, no. no. It's, hey, that's what this, pod, this podcast is about laughs and laughs. Right what exactly, it's all about. but we are approaching our time limit, so yeah. that's why we are cutting yep. off. So, laughs and learning, and that's what it's been about. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Everybody is really yes. excited for Spooky Intel. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I cannot wait fun. until you guys launch and immediately have three times the viewership that we. Oh, have. literally, Just because it's gonna happen. So. Oh, you know, Everybody, hands down, no, hands we down. Appreciate you guys so yeah. much. Okay. Can you believe that? We're like past 400 right now? Yeah. yeah. We're getting crazy. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So we're going to get to 500 and do a little raffle and shirts. We were going to um, do it for the Wednesday podcast in day four, but I think it's not going to make it. We'll see. Mm -hmm. um, if it doesn't, I mean, extend it to 550. Yep. And then that would just be the end goal at that point. So. Okay, but. Never mind. We'll talk about that one off well, camera. No. I was going to say, I mean, spooky intel. I mean, I guess it would probably freak your family out. You should do it at 666 likes. No, my grandparents. <laughs> exactly. That's why I was like, your grandparents freaked the fuck out on no, that one. So. Oh, yeah. That's fine. With that, we will. <laughs>